In Unit 16, we mainly looked at the semantic structures of transitive verbs. In this unit, we'll look at intransitive verbs. We'll start out with those intransitive verbs with just one core noun phrase, namely the subject. Satoko ga oyogimashita. Now recover the invisible elements from the context. This category includes arukimas, hashirimas, nemas, waraimas, and nakimas. Intransitive counterparts of such transitive verbs as kowashimas, break, and akemas, open, also have one core noun phrase marked by ga. Doa ga akimashita. This category includes shimarimas, ochimas, waremas, and many more. Verbs describing existence take a ni-marked noun phrase as well as a subject. Two other notable verbs in this category are arimas and sumimas. Some verbs describe transporting oneself to or placing oneself at a location. They also take a ni-marked noun phrase. Haha This category includes tsukimas, hairimas, ikimas, kimas, modorimas, and kaerimas. Nemas in the sense of lie down, tachimas in the sense of stand at a location, and demas in the sense of attend also belong with this category. Verbs describing one's own transformation also appear in the same frame. Another notable verb in this category is kawarimas. Some of the verbs appearing in the previous frame can also take e, which marks the direction. Hiroshi ga boku no uchi e kimashita. Such are ikimas, modorimas, kaerimas, and magarimas. Some intransitive motion verbs can take an O-marked location, such as when something leaves a location. Hiroshi ga boku no uchi o demashita. Orimas is another such verb. Some other motion verbs can take an O-marked location when something traverses a location or moves across a long stretch of space. Hiroshi ga kono michi o ikimashita. This category includes Arukimas, watarimas, and magarimas. Verbs describing ability or perceptive capacity take a ni marked person and a ga marked target. Watashi ni ame no oto ga kikoemas. This category includes miemas, wakarimas, and dekimas. Being aware of the type of noun phrases associated with a specific verb will help you understand the connection between two sentences such as these. Naomi wa seta o mimashita ga kaimasen deshita. Now you can supply the subject and the object. 
You can stop here and come back after you study Unit 52. Being aware of the possible range of noun phrases associated with a specific verb will also help you understand why there are two interpretations for such a sentence as the one to the right. 本を借りたのはヒロシだ。Recall from Unit 16 that kariru, borrow, is linked to two people and one thing. The pronoun no in this sentence can be either of the two people, the one who borrows or the one who lends the book. To exclude one interpretation, use one of these. Satoko ni hon o karita no wa Hiroshi da. サトコが本を借りたのはヒロシだ。